This is the abandoned Satsop nuclear power plant. Look at the size of that cooling tower. Down in the where you found me and grow. Black smoke billows from a flame is white snow. No, I will not return to where I've been. No, I will not return. Yeah. Although a small percentage of this facility is in fact used today, most of what you see here sat vacant and untouched for nearly half of a century. In the 1960s, a plan was put underway to build five nuclear power plants across Washington state. Construction began in the 70s, but by 1980, four of the five locations had been abandoned. This was due to financial estimates reaching $24 billion. 20 billion over the original $4.1 billion budget. From my lover, had to let go of all she brought. WNP3 and 5 sat 76% complete and maintained for over a decade as though construction would continue. But in 1993, the project was officially cancelled. It's not just some stay the year I The buildings that had been completed were then repurposed and are still used today by large corporations such as NASA. When I was flying the drone, I could see a tunnel going down directly in the middle of the cooling tower. Check it out. Right there. That's got to be where it goes. Down in the meadow, Total frickin' detective here. I took a look at the satellite and there's lots of places I can turn the motorhome around. I kind of don't think anything's going to be blocked up here, so we're going to do a little drive-by touring. I love all the photos that they have up on the wall in order there. It's so weird being in a place like this. Billions of dollars in infrastructure set up and all I can hear is birds and the chain on the flagpole clanging away. Most of the windows on this building are blocked with tarps. Awfully fishy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank God. It's locked. Okie dokie. This is going to be the last stop of our tour. We're at the other end of the facility here by this weird round thing. I 
I can hear high voltage electricity going through the junction box there. Otherwise, kind of just looks like storage. Well, not much going on today at the old power plant. <laughs> oh, this place is unbelievable though. Just the size of this stuff. Look at this round thing over here. I don't know the first thing about a nuclear power plant, but I did spend a couple years working on the oil drilling rigs. To me, that looks like a massive drill bit. Could be wrong, but that's my guess. I'm a big fan of anything post-apocalypse. So this location really does it for me. Look at this parking lot, totally overgrown. The fact that it was nuclear amplifies it times like a hundred. And there's a lot of miles still ahead of me heading north, so I can't stick around long, but I am really stoked. I made time to fit this one in. Let's get out of here. Though the destination for this episode was the power plant, my trip did not start there. I decided to do the only section of Oregon coast I haven't yet done. And of course, my only goal in mind, catch myself a crab feast. A bullet from a gun When I looked at your picture It catapulted me Never loved, no, never lost I'm stuck in the between see my crab pot out there it's hardly even under the water <laughs> this is a lot different than crabbing back in British Columbia the tide has only just started coming in this dock is full of people so I'm stuck over here by the land if I catch myself even one keeper crab today I will be very surprised but I'm gonna let that marinate for like 30 or 40 minutes before I pull it up the first time Let's grab the e-bike and see what else we can find around here. Look how radical this is. It looked like there was a cave going through that little island out there. I can't go on this side because the train tracks are there, but I have a camera that can. steam train I was following it with the drone and it hit a car <laughs> can you believe that timing oh my god so I went and talked to the conductor to offer the video for insurance reasons which wasted a bit of time so we have not made it very far oh we're back on the road also the train's gonna come through here this house looks abandoned I want to go check it out Wow, look at this. Don't get stolen. So 
seeing as it's all boarded up, I'm guessing it's not abandoned. But whoever owns it should come and enjoy it. Look at this beautiful old house. What do you guys see in there? Anything cool? Wow. <laughs> I don't know what kind of critter's been coming through here. Pretty thick though. Somebody clearly owns this house. So I'm not gonna mess around and try and get in it. But look at how beautiful the house this is. And it has a relatively recent roof on it. No signs of rot or sagging up top. But you can tell, look at the eaves trough. This thing's been sitting a long time. I really like it. It's a shame it's sitting. Such a beautiful old house. Somebody ought to be loving it. I've wasted a lot of time with the train. So <laughs> let's go pull up the crab trap. Immediately got sidetracked. I can see some people fishing. Don't get stolen. Some people fishing off the rocks over here. It seems a little early for salmon, but I could be wrong. Let me go check it out and see what they're going for. Look at this thing. That is not a very functional staircase. Okie dokie, figured it out. They're not fishing. There's a type of uh, crab pot that you cast with a fishing rod. We used to use them with my grandpa when I was young. That's what everyone's got out here. So, now let's go get the crab pot. We spent the last four months without seeing a drop of rain. Tape on at the coast, it's raining. I try not to complain about the weather because you can't change it. Unless it's not good weather, then I'll complain about it. Today I'm happy though, because the rain, it's scaring away the other crabbers. Totally gonna scoop their spot. I can see it down there, it's just full of keeper dungeons. Oh man! Look at this prime piece of real estate I scored. And to top it off, somebody gave me a can of something. It's supposed to be good for crabs. That's the spot. That's Crab Town right there. Well, that's it. Five hours of incoming tide, one hour of slack tide, not a single crab. <laughs> <laughs> Suit of a crab feast continues, but I'm trying a new spot today. Made my way a little further up the coastline, and unfortunately, it's kind of a nasty, rainy day. Oh, that's it. Wrap it up. Really? You're wasting everyone's time. Out you go. Just gonna save you guys the pain of watching me pull empty traps all day long. Ended up with one keeper dungeon less than successful but tomorrow it's a brand new day it's been quiet for a while. as much as i would love to continue trying for a better crab feast 
It turns out that there's no more crab docks along the northern Oregon coast, but it's probably for the best. With 2,000 miles in the rear view from Mexico, more than 2,000 yet to go ahead of us, I'm putting the pedal down, we're heading for the border. problem here sitting in line at the border and my battery gauge has dropped down to nine volts I thought maybe I had lost a belt but I just checked all the belts are on I don't know I just confirmed it I checked the inverter and that shows my voltage and it should be up around 14 with everything charging. It's at 12 right now, so I definitely have no charging system currently. If this lineup goes quick, it'll be fine. I can stop and figure out if I've maybe broken a wire or switch the alternator entirely. I have a spare. I just have to get through this before the battery dies. All right. Awesome. Take care. Thanks so much. You're welcome. In the grand scheme of motorhome projects, this is actually a pretty easy one. I've had to do it a bunch of times. It's just the temperature of this frickin' engine bay. Here we go, moment of truth. tip for all the motorhome people out there most coaches have a switch on the dash that says auxiliary start if your chassis battery is ever dead that's to bypass and start off of your house batteries that's what I had to do this time and if you remember back to Prince Rupert last year when I had to build my own alternator I called it the Frankenator that's what's back in here and it's the only alternator that has never failed me but I'm happy to say that we are officially charging again and ready for the next adventure Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I'll catch you on the next one. The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow, or the troubles to come. The lily's not thinking about the seasons, the drought or the flood. The tree that's planted by the water isn't phased by the fire. So why should I? Cause you take good